Good day, grade 10 students. I'm Mr. Rolly C. Franco, your teacher in Science 10. We are now down to our last lesson for this week, and it's all about the optical instruments. But before we start with our lesson, let us have first the guidance of our Lord through a prayer. Once again, good day grade 10 students. How are you today? I hope that you and your loved ones are in good condition. We are now down to our last lesson for this week, which is all about the optical instruments. But before we start with our lesson, let us do first a recap of what we have discussed in our last video. In our last video, I have discussed to you the lesson number 2, which is all about Reflection of light in curved mirrors. You have learned that there are two types of curved mirrors, which are the concave and the convex mirrors. For convex mirrors, the images formed are always virtual, upright, formed behind the mirror, and are always smaller than the object. Example of convex mirrors are what again? Okay, the side mirrors and the mirrors found in convenience stores or the security mirrors. Well, for concave mirrors, there are different uh, um, uh, image characteristics of images formed depending on the location of the object from the mirror. Okay? It can be virtual, it can be real, it can be upright or inverted, it can be smaller, bigger, or same size as the object. Okay? Example of concave mirrors are, what again? Okay, example of that is the mirrors used by the dentist and also when you place your spoon in front of you, the curved area, so that is also a concave mirror. Okay, so that's it for our lesson number 2. Now, we will go to lesson number 3 which is application of lesson 1 and lesson number 2. It is all about optical instruments. You will learn how the different types of mirrors can be used to view the desired um, appearance of an object that we would like to see. Okay? For this lesson, number 3, we have only one objective and that is explain how different optical instruments work. Okay? Let us first discuss camera. Okay? So, familiar naman na tayo sa camera. It is uh, widely used today in different forms. Okay? So, camera is the man's answer to the eye's inability to produce a permanent record of the image formed at the retina. Okay? So, kasi yung eyes natin, it is used for seeing object, but um, we can store uh, them as memories. Pero hindi naman natin yung pwedeng parang i-view, makita sa ating utak, magkaroon ng parang gallery. But for camera, uh, it is the it has the ability to have a permanent record whether... Uh, it is a um, physical copy or a digital copy. Okay? So, Roger Bacon, an English philosopher and scientist, was believed to have invented the instrument in 1267. So, thanks to Rob, uh, Roger Bacon, we have cameras that are used today to capture moments, to capture yourself. Okay, diba? So, it was believed to be invented uh, on 1267. Okay? But in 1826, Joseph Nicephor Nips, a French scientist, I don't know if I pronounced it uh, correctly, but it is a French, so baka iba talaga yan, baka may konting accent. Okay? Joseph Nicephor Nips, baka ganon, o Nips, ganyan, we are not sure, but you can also look for it. But, um, uh, we can uh, speak naman with uh, ber uh, oral, uh, verbally lang, word for word. So, a French scientist and inventor created the first photographic camera that has a lens to project an image onto a light-sensitive paper. So, si Joseph Nips naman, a French scientist, uh, sinagundahan niya yung ginawa ni uh, Roger Bacon. Ang ginawa naman niya sa camera, nilagyan niya ng lens. And it is photographic, kaya niya mag-store na image or makapag-project na image isang paper na light-sensitive. 
Okay, so we have two different cameras. Okay, actually, yung isa is prominent na ngayon. But the first one is what we call as the conventional camera or the film camera. It uses film in storing images. So, yung mga luman type ng camera, gumagamit ng film. A 35 millimeters conventional camera can only take up to 36 exposures. One has to rewind the film, open the back, and replace the film with another if more pictures are to be taken. Okay, so wala pa dati kasing memory cards na tinatawag natin or mga storage cards or storage device. Ang ginagamit lang dati ay film. So meron lang yung limited exposures. So kapag napuno na yung uh, storage niya is kailangan palitan, uh, buksan yung location ng film, then palitan ng bagong film if you want to take more images. So, the film will have to be developed and negatives before the seeing the pictures. Okay, diba yun yung nakikita natin kung naabutan nyo pa siya nung kayo ay bata pa? So, pero mo siguro, hindi na rin. Yun yung uh, kapag ka nag, ano ha, yung parang sa Polaroid, pag nag-shot ka ng image, yung lalabas, kaila, uh, film lang siya na ganun, kailang itutok mo pa sa araw or patuyuin pa, ganun, may ginagawa pa siya dun sa may developing, uh, sa may production room pa na tawag, ba? Diba? O kaya naman, may iba pa yung pinapagpag pa para lumino yung image. Para siyang ganun. So, conventional camera. So, films yung ginagamit. So, kailangan pang i-develop. So, kailangan ma-develop muna. Okay, yan niya, diba? So, yan yung conventional camera. So, it uses film. Well, now, uh, widespread na to yung natawag nating digital camera. camera sorry. It uses digital sensor array made of millions of tiny sensor points called pixels okay which is a short uh, for picture elements yung pala ang ibig sabihin ng pixels picture elements pin lang that convert light into electrical charges they are laid out in an array and with rows and columns for instance a camera with 3000 pixels horizontally and 1,000 pixels vertically has 3,000 by 1,000 pixels or equivalent to 3 million pixels. Thus, it is called as 3 megapixels camera. Digital camera is provided with video monitor for instant viewing of each picture taken. Okay? So, ganun pala yun. Yung tinatawag natin pixel-pixels na yan. Megapixels, MPMP sa mga cellphones. ba? Diba? So, yun yung tinatawag nating mga uh, rows and columns na kaya i-produce kung gaano kalaki yung uh, rows and columns na matitake yung isang picture. So, for example, kung 3,000 by 1,000 columns or 3,000 rows or 1,000 columns, so, i-multiply lang yon 3,000 by 1,000 is equal to 3 million pixels. So, equivalent yon million kasi, that is mega. So, that is 3 megapixels. So, imagine yung mga cameras natin yun. Alam ko, sa cellphone, ang pinakamalaki na ay 64 or baka may mas malaki pa doon. So, kung 64 megapixels, that is 64 million pixels or 64 million row and columns yung makikita doon. So, ganun kaliliit yun. Maliliit kasi yun. Tapos, pinagsasama-sama to form a uh, image. So, hindi na kailangan ng film, kailangan na ng pixels na nagko-convert into ng light into electrical charges para mas save yung image. And another feature ng digital camera is pag na-capture mo is makikita mo agad yung picture na na-take mo. Okay, so dahil meron siyang video monitor. Okay, so that is the difference between conventional or film camera with a digital camera. So that is one of the optical instruments used today. Next one, magnifier and microscope. Okay? To examine an object, we hold at we hold it as near as possible to our eye, so that the bigger image can be viewed. However, if the object is placed shorter than 25 cm from the eye, blurred image is produced. Magnifying glasses and microscopes produce a virtual, upright, and enlarged image of an object. Okay? So tayo, di ba? Kapag ka ina-examine natin yung isang object, kapag gusto natin tingnan yung components or yung parts nata, tututok natin sa mata natin. Uh, isa-isa yung natin ganun. But our eyes uh, is limited with 25 cm range. Okay? Kapag ka tinutok mo daw yung mata mo 25 cm from the eye, nagiging blurry na yung image. Okay? So, yun yung sa mga regular or maganda pa yung paningin. Pero kapag ka 
yung mga 30 centimeters pa lang ay malabo na so meron ng problems with the eye yun. So, with the help of magnifying glass and microscope, our eyes are aided to see objects that we cannot view, uh, that we uh, we want to view large or to see things that are uh, not visible with our naked eye. So, yun yung uh, nagagawang tulong ng microscope para makita natin yung mga objects na hindi natin kaya tignan. Yung mga viruses, bacteria, yung mga microorganisms na tinatawag natin. And sa magnifying glass naman para mas ma-examine natin na mabuti yung mga objects with small or tiny components or particles. Okay? So, ang na-perform na image doon ay virtual. Pag sinabing virtual, sa lab, hindi doon sa mismong um, um, uh, doon sa behind ng mirror na perform. And then upright or uh, kung ano yung position niya, yun din yung magiging position. And enlarge. Okay? sabi sabihin lumalaki yung image natin. So, kung virtual, upright, and large, ano kaya ang type ng mirror yung ginagamit dyan? Okay? So, mostly, it is what? It is, pwede siyang concave mirror. Kasi hindi naman, uh, kung convex yan, liliit yung image. So, concave yung maaring ginagamit dyan. Pwede siyang concave mirror. Pero hindi na siya kasi mirror, regarded as mirror. Ang ginagamit na sa glasses, uh, magnifying glass and microscopes ay ano? They are now called as lens or yung uh, um, mas makapal or hindi siya mirror kasi pag lens kasi, lente. Okay, yun yung ginagamit ni siya. Uh, Nagre-reflect lang ng light basta-basta. It, uh, it produces a uh, Uh, magnification yung mga lenses natin. Okay, hindi lang siya basta nagre-reflect. It magnifies the objects. And then last one, we have telescopes. A telescope is a device that enables us to see objects which are far from us or which are very distant. So the first image formed at the principal focus of objective is real, inverted, and smaller. Okay, real, inverted, and smaller. Then the eyepiece acting like a magnifying glass produces a magnified virtual final image at infinity. So in telescope natin, yun yung ginagamit para makita yung mga far objects from a very distant place. So example nga yung mga uh, astu- uh, mga um, cosmic objects. So yan yung ginagamit para makita natin yung mga yon. So ang unang image na form sa anyang body is real. Uh, inverted and smaller but when we view it on the eyepiece it is magnified so uh, yung mga common example naman ng ating telescope ay yung ating zoom lens ng mga camera ng camera ng ating mga cellphone so imagine when you are using your camera in your cellphone you are not just using camera you are also using a telescope okay so uh, and, 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 ang telescope doon ay yung zoom lens yung lens na ginagamit para ma-zoom natin yung mga objects na kung gusto natin i-capture. Okay? So, next one is the uh, binocular o yung ginagamit sa pansipat na for example sa military, bird hunting, so kung ano-ano pa. So, that is also a telescope mounted side by side. So, these are the different types of optical instrument. Actually, marami pa yan, pero ito yung mga basic. The camera, microscope, and the telescope. So that's it for our last lesson. Okay? If you want to learn more about digital camera, visit the link given on your learning packet or open the document file and read about it. So if you um, are now ready to take the assessment, you can now start answering activity 5 on your assessment sheets. But if you still have questions in your mind, you can ask me during our consultation time. Okay? So before you end with our lesson, answer also the values integration found on your assessment sheets. Have you heard the golden rule of life, do unto others what you want others do unto you? How does this line relate to uh, the lessons that you have learned in studying play mirrors? Do you believe that what you do in life reflect back to you also? Use the same situations that we are experiencing or witnessing right now in supporting your answers.